I used to live in a, an apartment complex that had an enclosed driveway. I still remember, I was about seven years old. My uncle drove in with a brand new car that he had just purchased, and it immediately caught my eye. So it was probably around high school where I started getting this idea that I wanted to restore an old car. And then somewhere in between all of that kind of soul searching, I remember that car my uncle drove in that one day, that 240Z. It took probably about those three months and another nine months before I finally found the chassis that was worthy of restoration. Basically, a year and a half later, I have what's behind me. My third accident was shooting this documentary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't have my other pair. I was uh, a little scared that I broke it and I couldn't fly it, but after um, testing it again, I only had to replace one of the propellers, so I'm just thankful that this Phantom 4 can fly another day. So my name's Jim. Um, it's spelled J-I-M, and I'm a guitarist. <laughs> Didn't that just make you want to go wide? Like, change the world, man? I think guitar is, truthfully, like, in all seriousness, the instrument, the instrument of the soul. Ah! Ah! My friends and I, we, we all make coffee and What's neat is that we're learning how to use our passion for coffee, even our obsession with it, uh, in a way that we can really serve other people. And to make espresso, we get coffee from the grinder, and then we tap it, and then we put it into the espresso machine. And the espresso machine puts a whole lot of water pressure through a tiny bit of coffee to make a little coffee concentrate, which is what we call espresso. On top of the espresso, we can add steamed milk to make what we call a latte. And you pour your latte, you can create what we call latte art. And I recently got into painting a lot of custom art. So any quotes or favorite colors or animals that people wanted me to paint, that's uh, what I do. I also recently started painting mason jars. I noticed that a lot of mason jars were painted one type of color or two colors, and what I wanted to do was make something that was a little more interesting. For me, it was really about, yeah, dealing with loss or shattered dreams, especially as an immigrant myself, I think. Even now, like, I feel trapped a little bit. I heard this quote from my friend where they, he said, film is something that, you know, if you have gone through it, it's almost like if you have gone through this heartbreak, you are able to heal or find that <laughs> healing in real life. 